Hey guys, how is your NCLEX lecture review going? Um, today we're going to quickly go over anticonvulsants. Um, again, I'm very sorry if you do hear noises and yelling in the background. There's actually people and children all around me, so I'm very sorry for that. So, today we're going to talk about anticonvulsants, which is mainly used for seizures and epilepsy. Hence the reason why it's usually called an uh, anti-epileptic drug, or an anti-seizure drug. Right? Basically what it does is it inhibits seizure activity. Okay? Now, it can also be used as a mood stabilizer, right? So, therefore, it can also be used for, uh, for treating bipolar disorders and other personality disorders. And also, let's quickly go over how anticonvulsants work. Um, basically, the mechanism works by blocking the sodium channels or the other calcium channels. Or on the opposite spectrum of that, it can enhance the GABA receptor, which is basically uh, an inhibitory tr neurotransmitter. And obviously our main goal is to reduce um, excit excitability in the central nervous system or the, in the CNS, which will hopefully reduce and calm down any muscle spasms, right, the, the patient has. Now, I'm going to go over three categories. These are the main categories that you will most likely encounter in the NCLEX exam. Obviously, there are uh, other, category, other categories of anticonvulsants, but I believe these are the main three that you will most likely encounter. Now, we're going to go over barbiturates, which is usually used for tonic-clonic seizures, benzodiazepines, which is uh, used as a CNS depressant, and hydantoins, which is used for mostly used for status epilepticus. Now, with barbiturates, um, phenobarbital, uh, which is Lumina and Primidone, which is Mycelene, are the most common um, medications that you will most likely encounter in your NCLEX exam. And barbiturates are actually one of the most effective uh, and widely used anticonvulsant, okay? Now, side effects can include dizziness and drowsiness. And we, need, we do need to watch out for hypotension in our patients, right, since it's a CNS depressant, right, and respiratory depression. Those are, those are very important. Next are benzodiazepines, and the two most commonly used drugs are clonazepam, or clonapine, and diazepam, which is Valium. Now, the thing with Valium is it's um, done, it's given IV push only, therefore we don't give it as an infusion. Okay, you have to be careful about that. And side effects for both these drugs would include ataxia, which is basically just an impaired balance or impaired coordination, right, in, in the patient. The main issue that we have, again guys, I'm very sorry for the noise in the background. Now, the main problem that we have is drug dependency, okay? So therefore, we need to, it, it's basically a tolerance problem, right? So we do need to have uh, patient teaching and, uh, and proper guidelines, right? To, to teach our patient and tell them the harmful effects of dependency of uh, benzodiazepines. And... It as well can cause cardiovascular depression and drowsiness, okay? Now, I'm just going to go fairly quickly with uh, hydantoins. Now, hydantoin, uh, major drug is phenytoin, which is dilantin. And it's a very major anti-seizure drug medication. And I believe that you might, this is, this is a very important drug, you might most likely encounter this drug in your NCLEX exam. So, be very aware about that. Usually, usually used for um, used for tonic clonic or partial seizures, and it can be given PO or IV. Okay, now with IV intravenously, um, once it's given thirty minutes, uh, it works thirty minutes after being administered uh, through IV, and it's effective for twenty four hours. Okay, and the thing with phenytoin is we do need to check the blood levels, right, in order to measure the proper dosage. Okay, now. Again, I'm just going to go over fairly quickly. Uh, this is it for now. I'm going to go over other similar drugs in the next in the next video. So I'm just going to have this fairly quickly. Again, thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate you guys um, uh, stopping by. And I hope I can do more and give you guys more value. I really do appreciate that. And... Hopefully you have a great day and God bless. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.